Demonstration. So now I'm going to perform a demonstration of each of the stop losses that we discussed in this strategy. All right, so as you can see, I'm looking at the one second chart with Apple and I'm looking at the brokerage trade page with the Apple ticker on it. So I've tapped trade so you can see I'm on the trade page. Now I'm going to tap stock ETF, change it to call. And I'm just going to choose a random contract. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's choose, you know, a week from now and two bucks in the money. As you can see, the contract's current value is 455. I'm going to change my limit to market so that it purchases right away. And I'm not really looking for a pattern per se, but you can at least see the contract price changes as the chart changes and you can see them in real time. So I'm going to purchase this right now. Preview, send, as you can see. Now I'm going to tap view positions after it fills, which you saw that it filled. And you'll see the position populate, right? And what you're going to notice is it says cost basis and it says mark and it says open market gain, right? And if I slide this way, you can see some additional information about that position. Now, cost basis is the most important. That means we paid $4.55 for this contract. And I'm going to create an OCO with a limit just above that and a stop loss just below that. I do want you to notice that the mark is changing based on how the share price is changing right now. So you saw that it went up a little bit and you can now see that the value of the contract went up. And then as it drops, you can see it drops as well. Right in sync. All right, so let's do this. So I'm gonna tap on the position, tap close. Then I'm gonna tap limit. And then I'm going to tap OCO. Now I'm being asked to fill in the values for the limit and the stop. So first I'll do the limit. Now, what's interesting is when I tap that, it gives me the current values of the bid, mid, and ask right here, as you can see on this little calculator. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap the ask just for fun and maybe add an extra five cents. And that's where we're going to go. You know what? I'll go just above, I'll go five cents above cost. So we're going to aim for $4 and 60 cents on this. I'm going to hit done. Now we go down to the stop and I tap the area where the number is. And we're going to go for, let's say our stop loss is 425. Okay. Hit done. And then I hit preview send. As a result, I now have a limit order and a stop loss order in at the exact same time. So if I tap view positions, you can see that currently the position is $12 down. Okay. Now, if I tap orders at the top there, that's the OCO order that we have in place. There's a limit of $4 and 60 cents at the top and a stop loss of 425 at the bottom. When you look at the positions, you can see it's right in between that. So at some point, this share price should move in one direction enough to either hit the stop loss or hit the limit. And then we're out of the trade. This allows us the protection of the stop loss and the ability to take profit with the limit. Okay. Now also it's possible the OCO limit and stop loss are so far apart that the graph or the chart never moves in any direction enough to fill either one. That's silly. You don't want to do that. Okay. But that's how you do it. We're not going to wait around for it to eventually fill, but you can see how it works. That's how you place an OCO. So I'm going to cancel that order by going into the order section and hit cancel. Now what we're going to do is demonstrate how to do a trailing stop. So I go back to positions. I tap on the position. I hit close. I tap on the limit button and I tap on trailing stop dollar sign trailing stop money. And what I'm going to do is choose the amount of the trailing stop that I want. So this means right now I'm setting it for five cents. That means that if the value of this position ever jumps,
by whatever amount and then drops by five cents, it should sell it off. With paper trading, unfortunately, this isn't very accurate. But in real trading, it's very accurate. So I'm just gonna hit preview, send. And now let's look at this chart right now because as you can see, the position, the ticker price went way down and way back up again. And now it's back to where it was before, it's even. And earlier it was down $12. So you can see how much this thing moves a lot, right? Now with the trailing stop, our goal obviously is to capture a nice rally and then when the rally finally gives up and drops, it sells. So that's how you do it, it's as simple as that. The amount that you choose can be changed. You can go back to orders and you can modify the order by sliding to the left and hitting modify. You can't do this with OCOs, only with trailing stops. And you can change the trailing stop amount to whatever you want. So I can change that to 15 cents if I want. I was just tapping on the plus sign. Tapping on the minus sign, tapping on the plus sign, as you can see. Now, if you tap in the middle, then you can actually type in the amount that you want. You can go 0.25, done. Or you can, again, use the plus and minus signs that are here on the calculator. So just for fun, I'm going to make it five cents. Done, preview, send. View positions, and we just wait. That's how you do a trailing stop. Now I'm going to show you how to do a stop on quote. So I'm gonna slide this to the left and hit cancel, yes. And then I'm going to go back to positions and I'm going to set a stop on quote. So I hit close, limit, stop on quote, and I'm going to choose a value, which is five cents lower than the current value. By the way, the mid in this case is the current value. So I just chose in this case now, 10 cents below the current value. Oh, well, because it's changing so fast, I'm gonna to have to go even lower. So let's go down to 440. Preview, send. Go back to positions and you can see that the current value is 4.525. The fun thing about this methodology is you can actually also modify the order and, and just raise it up. It's kind of like a manual trailing stop if you want. But at least you have the stop loss in place just in case the thing just plummets really fast and you want to just exit without losing too much. So you have that in place now with the stop on quote. You don't have a take profit in place, so if it jumps up, you won't get that limit sell at the higher level. But here we are watching the chart, and as you can see, it correlates pretty closely to how the option price is changing. So Stock just dropped a little bit. Option price just dropped a little bit. So you'll see this go on and on and on. Now, if it went low enough, then it would cause an activation of the stop loss and then sell off a position. But if it goes higher and higher, then I could go to, oh, okay, well, it just activated and you saw it. You saw the stop loss get activated. Great. Well, apparently the stop on quote system works really well with paper trading but trailing stop and the OCO don't. Well, that's exactly how a stop on quote works. It drops to a certain point and then the brokerage sells it off at close to that point, which is what you just saw. So that's how you do the various stop losses that you might wanna use at different times in your trading with options. Once again, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you always have a stop loss on every trade. Otherwise, one day it's very likely you will wipe out everything. Happy trading.